Hi guys and ladies, I found a yellow perch recipe online that made my mouth water. Around here the fish are called Lake Erie Perch. It's my favorite tasting fish and I only have a small population of them here in Lake Catch a Big One, but maybe we could collect enough bluegill, my second favorite fish, to make this recipe. I'm going to make my first cat right here off the dock. Well, I found this in Walmart yesterday. It's called a rocket bobber. It's supposed to lie on its side in the water, and when a fish bites, it's supposed to tip upward. Well, what do you say we try it with this? <laughs> this is a jig with mealworms on it, and I'll list all the equipment, info on the lake, and a lot more in the notes below. But right now, let's go fishing. I got one. Oh, he's injured. <laughs> I don't know why. They have all these discolorations during the spawning season. But I got one on the first cast. All right. Hang on. Whoa. Whoa. Look at that fight. Yeah, now there's a fish. What's going on? I got a monster. What? <laughs> oh my goodness. First he hit the he hit the bobber. <laughs> and then he said, "Well, maybe I'll go for the little hook on the end." Unbelievable. He hit the bobber. It's a nice bass, but you know, I'm throwing him back. We're going after bluegill, and he's too big to eat. We want to preserve this size. Went down immediately. Okay. Yeah, it's all right. It's tolerable. Seven and a half, eight inches. My rod broke. It wasn't real. <laughs> hey, that's a good one. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I only had a half of a mealworm on, but it worked. They don't care. Tune in tomorrow and we'll see. Oh no! I got him! Look, he's squirting. Oh. He's little, but I could fillet him. Yes. Up. <laughs> I 
went to the Rocket Bobber website and it gave explanations of how it's supposed to tilt up and do this and do that. Don't believe any of that. The bobber goes down when a fish hits, just like all bobbers do. But the cool thing about this bobber, the one true thing, is it goes so far. Yep. Ah, that's the fish I'm looking for. It's a beauty. <laughs> nine inches. Look at this. I've got nine nice bluegill here. That'll produce about, oh, a pound and a half of fish fillets. Perfect for our perch recipe. All right, so they're bluegill, but we'll do that recipe. Let's get back into the house and fillet those fish. really well yesterday catching bluegill using that rocket bobber and the mealworms were about five months old it didn't matter though <laughs> now we have about a pound and a half of these pretty bluegill fillets well i want to fry them up like in that perch recipe but first let's do a quickie side dish i've got two zucchini here and what i'm going to do is try to make noodles out of the zucchini they call these zoodles Okay, I have this device that makes zoodles. So I'll put the zucchini in there. I'm getting them, I'm getting them. Look, look, <laughs> noodles, it's all zoodles. Low carb. I just put the burner on medium high and I've got like a tablespoon of butter here and now I'm supposed to add garlic. I'll add a tablespoon. Right from the jar, fresh, you know? You only want to do this garlic for like a, a minute. Now look, our zucchini, our zoodles. Let's add them. I'm going to turn the heat down to medium. I'm going to drizzle a couple tablespoons now of olive oil. I've got a teaspoon here of Italian seasoning. Let's add it. A teaspoon of oregano. It isn't in the recipe, but I love oregano. The recipe says an eighth teaspoon of crushed red pepper, but come on, what's an eighth? Here's a quarter teaspoon and then some. I'm going to toss this a little bit. I'm going to cover it now and let it cook for like five minutes. We'll see how it is. They are long strands. They're good. I'm going to drain this and then put it in a bowl. Add to serving bowl and toss with grated Parmesan. Here's a half a cup of Pecorino Romano. Of course you could use Parmesan. I like a big bowl so I can mix better. It really reduced down to nothing. The noodles sort of wad up a little bit. They kind of stick together, but wow, it smells so good. Let's get going on this fish recipe. I need a lot of lemon juice but I have a squeezer. Okay, here goes a half cup of lemon juice. How about like a half teaspoon of this uh, semi-dried parsley? I've got two teaspoons of light soy sauce here. In the ingredient list, there's no salt mentioned, but in the directions there is, so I'll add a little salt. Same with the pepper, not in the ingredient list. Let's stir this up. Now we add our perch. Did I say perch? Uh, 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 I meant bluegill. Let's put this aside for a few minutes. You've seen me do things like this before. I've got our marinated fish here. I've got our flour. Uh, uh, not just ordinary flour. Look, this is a uh, low carb flour. I've got our egg wash and I've got our breadcrumbs. Uh, 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 not just ordinary breadcrumbs. You've seen these before. Low carb breadcrumbs. Now let's get going. So this is what I'm doing. Put the filet in there. I cover it with flour and then shake it off. Then into the egg wash. I let it drain. Then into the breadcrumbs. Look at the size of this bluegill filet. And then into the holding plate. That's it. The last filet. There's a little bit of clumpage from the flour, but not bad. 
Who was the first person ever to think of breading? I, I would like to congratulate them. Breaded fish, breaded chicken, who thought of this? Look at that. I've got oil in here at 360 degrees in my fry baby daddy, and I've been frying these up for like three minutes until they kind of float, and then they're done. Look at this plate, it's so good looking. I put our fish in the oven to keep warm uh, because I, I have a special guest tonight. You know that famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks is about to join me for dinner tonight. You know, unfortunately I'm not making as much progress as I'd like in winning her heart. In fact, just the other day she questioned my sanity. Is it me or, or do I have a cognitive issue. Well, here we are once again with the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks. Thank you so much for joining me at my primitive prefab. Um, and you had a chance to dine on my garlic parmesan zoodles. <clears throat> and what did you think of oh, them? Oh, they were very good. And mm -hmm. I, I think you could never know zucchini. Uh. And it was tasty, and it was oh. well-flavored and cheesy, oh, too. Thank you. Yes. And then we had uh, fried perch, which were not really perch. They were bluegill. What did you think? They were very good, and you know, I, I went back for seconds, and the, the coating was light Ooh, and crunchy, and crunchy. I enjoyed it. Yeah. Yes, and tender thank inside. You. Yes. Oh, thank you so much. Although, Miss Cheeks, <clears throat> you know, the other day you told me I was a nutcase. <laughs> uh, I've been thinking about that, and if you don't mind, I want a second opinion. All right. You're a goofball, too. Huh? Oh. Can I have a hug? <laughs>